Jordan Poole is hands down the funniest man in the league. And it's fair to ask, like, is he being serious? Like, actually, though. Because if you watch the beginning of his season with the Washington Wizards, it's fair to wonder if he's totally not serious. Now, let me start by saying Jordan Poole is a very talented player. He's one of the best scorers in the league. But right now, he's leading this Washington team. And as Paul Pierce said, he's finding out how tough it is. Whenever a player like Jordan Poole arrives on the scene, especially on a team like the Warriors, people are always going to ask, hey, I wonder how he would do with his own team. It was always the question with James Harden, and as we saw over the past five years, he was one of the best offensive players to ever play the game. Jordan Poole is the new James Harden. Now remember when James Harden left OKC and he got to goddamn Houston and got right at it? Absolutely. Man, this is the Jordan Poole show. Well, for Jordan Poole, Maybe most didn't think he had that type of potential, but there was definitely some sense of relief for him to have his own team. Going into just his fifth year in the league, Poole even said that after winning a championship for the Warriors, that his legacy is taken care of. Here's what some people said about Poole's breakout potential going into his Wizards tenure. Paul George was saying that if Jordan Poole goes anywhere, he would be a star. Jordan Poole. If yeah. he goes anywhere yeah, else. He's, if he could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk he's going to be a star. He's going to be a star for sure. He's a star he's in a star his own now. right yeah. now. He, a star he just now. doesn't have the same opportunity that he would have somewhere else. And Iguodala talked about how him not having the freedom that Stephen Clay had actually hurt him. It was a hindrance to Jordan Poole. Jordan's like, why can't I go out there and be free like them? You know, yeah, I don't. He doesn't have four rings. He has one, and he did win us a. He won us a game in the finals. Like. No, I've shown y'all that. Give me some freedom. And I'm second on the team in scoring. And Clay said this. Obviously, it hurts to see Jordan go. That's the nature of the beast that is this business. Mm -hmm. JP, was he was homegrown. I saw him put the work in. I saw him go 215 in the game. But then he would be in the dungeon, which we call our practice facility because there's no windows, getting shots up right after the game. To see JP fall that same <laughs> that same footing, I'm like, man, this kid's gonna be special. And we wouldn't have won the championship without him. Like mm -hmm. he was so important to us when Steph went down and we play that series against Denver. I mean, so Jordan is forever gonna be cherished in the Warriors lore just for what he did and helped bring us back to where we needed to go. What like what kind of player you think he's gonna turn out to be now for the Washington Wizards? Oh, he definitely got all star potential. Like he saw it when he made that finals run. You know, he averaged 18, shooting 50, 40, 90. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's hard impressive. to do. Impressive. That's very impressive. In the playoffs, too. For a young I'm player. excited to watch him and Kuz. Those are going to be the swaggiest buckets ever. <laughs> but, no, nah, I'm excited for him. Washington got a good one. Yeah. Future All-Star for sure. And Steph had to show his appreciation for Poole's journey with the Warriors. Yo, so now that the, uh, the trade is actually final, I feel like I come on here and <clears throat> just say to JP how much I appreciate the four years, brother. Um, you're a champion. Uh, you grew up, you know, right in front of everybody's face in terms of, you know, that first year where it was, it was rough and a lot of injuries and, you know, just trying to find your way to going to the G League and coming back and helping us finish 15-5 and five down the stretch of that your second year. That's winning a championship your third year. Um, and fighting to the end, you know, this past year. So can't wait to see you blossom, big fella. Can't wait to see you shine in your own situation. And just looking forward to, you know, competing, obviously, but being a fan of, of everything that you become. Good luck to you. And, you know, CP, can't wait to rock with you, brother. It's going to be different with us on the same side. Let's get it. Let's get it. So although in Poole's tenure with the Warriors, there were some awkward moments like this or this, or even this, or some really, really bad moments that we won't show video of. Everything still seemed like it was headed for a breakout season for Poole when he was traded. He has the star charisma, he can score with the best of them, and he's basically a walking meme. Then the season started. The crazy part is there were a couple of moments early where it looked like Poole was just going to go crazy this year, like when he went off against the Knicks in Madison Square Garden. But then the regular season started, the meme started to pile up, and they started to pile up fast. So what we're seeing, it actually makes sense. 
It's like an even more confident Jordan Poole with a crazy amount of freedom. Like, who would ever do this in a game? And with the Wizards down 20 to the Hawks, he really threw an alley-oop off the backboard to Kyle Kuzma. I swear, Kyle Kuzma and Jordan Poole are the duo this NBA needs. And he actually tried Steph's turnaround three and missed it. This dude is really a meme, but on the Wizards, it's not as much in a good way. Like, everyone remembers on the Warriors when he was a walking meme, but that was mainly for being known as the guy who turned into 2016 Steph Curry when he saw Batty sitting courtside. Let's not forget what Jordan Poole did in 2022 without Steph. He basically put up 25 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists, and everyone remembers how well he played in that series against the Nuggets, when Curry was coming off the bench as he returned from injury. It was moments like this that led everyone to think that Poole was the type of player that if he had his own team, he would become a star. Well now, just about 10 games into the season, Mark Stein is reporting that the Wizards may just be looking at Jordan Poole as a trade piece. So hold on, let me get this straight. The Jordan Poole story went from now, he has his own team and he can become a superstar, to we're now trying to trade him in just a matter of 10 or so games. Wow. Poole continues to be one of the most interesting players in the league. Let's not forget that when he was drafted to the Warriors, it took a few years for him to gain stride. He even had a few trips down to the G League, and it wasn't until the end of his second season that he really cracked the rotation. Well, now with his legacy taken care of, where do you think that Jordan Poole's story goes from here? Let me know in the comments if the Wizards should keep or trade Poole.